This video is sponsored by Uscreen. More about them later in the video. Are you looking to build a membership website but not sure where to go or what to do? Then follow along as I share a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to create a membership website using Uscreen. Now, if you're a video creator, author, digital entrepreneur, or small business owner, chances are likely you're looking for a way to expand your streams of revenue. As your brand grows, so does your audience, with many of them wanting more than what you typically offer. Enter membership sites. You provide your raving fans premium videos and resources, but if you're anything like I was over eight years ago, you're probably wondering where you go and what you do to open that revenue stream. Naturally, we're going to be using Uscreen for building a membership site. Uscreen is a platform that helps create and manage video streaming websites with special membership features and perks. With Uscreen, you can easily upload and organize your video content, customize your website's branding and layout, set up different membership levels, and integrate with third-party tools. Their services provide a comprehensive solution for building a professional membership website and monetizing your video content effectively. Uscreen's platform brings together all the key aspects of a membership with video content, plus community, plus subscription, so it's the single destination for a creator's audience. Now, for the past two years, I've leaned on Uscreen for my video on demand service, the Self Publishing Hub, while distributing a mobile app version for the Apple App Store. Uscreen has helped scores of businesses to build and grow membership websites, including this one, this one, this one, and of course me. Visit uscreen.tv slash examples for full list of sites that you can filter down to a specific niche. I'll share more insights on what to expect and how to approach Uscreen for setting up a membership site. Now let's get into the mechanics of things. Feel free to follow along when you get a 14 day free trial of Uscreen at my affiliate link, dalelinks.com slash Uscreen. I'm going to move rather fast through some of these elements, but don't sweat it too much if you miss one thing or the other. Uscreen has an excellent onboarding process that'll walk you through all of that anyway. Your dashboard is where it all starts with a few prompts for what you need to complete to officially launch your membership site. You'll have to answer four questions so Uscreen has a better idea of what you want to accomplish with them. I highly recommend taking advantage of their onboarding session where Uscreen assigns you an experienced pro to guide you through the various features of your account. Alejandro, my Uscreen rep, recorded the session for me so I could easily reference the information later. Under getting started, Uscreen loads you up with the best first steps to launching your site. The four actions you need to complete include setting up your first subscription plan, adding your first video, customizing your website, and connecting payments. The process is fairly intuitive, so take it one step at a time. I'd recommend etching out a few hours to get the first draft of your membership site all set. Now don't worry, nothing has to be perfect right away. You can perfect it as you go. If you get lost, simply select the help bubble in the bottom right corner. What'll probably take the most time is selecting a theme and customizing your website. Hit customize in the third step or select website in the left menu. Feel free to browse their themes and select the one that best suits you. You can hit preview to see how each theme looks, then add to library when you find the best fit. Bear in mind, you'll be replacing the graphics, so it'll look a little bit different. The only thing that'll remain intact is the layout. When you customize the theme, you can change everything from the header, to the hero banner, to the content, and so much more. I recommend browsing all the features, jot down the graphics you'll need to submit and their dimensions. You can either hire a graphic designer like I did or do it yourself with programs like Photoshop, Canva, GIMP, and so much more. Customizing your site is going to require a little time. That's why the 14 day free trial is perfect. It took me roughly two weeks to get everything set for my site anyway. Can you do it faster? Oh, for sure. I had to balance my normal workload while setting up my membership site. Take your time putting everything together. I recommend always double checking how your site looks on desktop and mobile. Simply click the eyeball icon next to the website option in the left side menu. To make things easier for me, I created a dummy account by giving myself a coupon code for free lifetime access. Then I'd log into my website on my phone, then scroll through the content. Next, you'll have to set up a payment processor with Stripe or PayPal. If you're using the free trial, you won't be able to set this up just yet. Once you've handled those four items, it's time to get to work. Uploading videos is dead simple. 
Select content in the left side menu, then hit upload videos. I recommend uploading no more than 10 videos at a time. If your video files are a little more dense, stick with uploading one at a time. Once the video uploads, you'll need to go in to fill out the metadata, and this includes the title, the description, a short description, categories, author name, thumbnail, SEO section, and search tags. Additionally, you can set the visibility of the video, the access, whether free for everyone or gated for premium customers only, the subscription plan, and any subtitles and caption files. Now, side note, Uscreen only accepts VTT files, not SRT files that are normally used in videos on social media for captions. Now, categories and playlists help you sort your content in a way that subscribers can quickly and easily find your published content. To start a new category, visit Organize in the left side menu under Content. From there, you can hit Add New, then fill in all the relevant details. The part I like is the ability to control the position of a category on my membership site. I'll keep an eye on my video analytics in the left side menu. Whenever I see a specific category playlist perform well, I'll typically push it to the top position. After all, I want my subscribers to watch and enjoy the content, so I'll give them precisely what they want. In the event you're structuring a time course and only want subscribers to see videos in a specific sequence and order, you can set up dripped content. Go to content, Select Collections, edit the collection where the videos reside, scroll down to Playlist and Drip Settings, then hit Drip for the video you want to have timed. In the Drip settings, you can set the number of days you want to delay access to the video after the viewer signs up. You can also optionally include an email notification that gets sent when access is granted via the Drip delay. Setting up various membership levels start at the Subscriptions option. Select New Plan, then fill out all the details. For anyone new to membership sites, I recommend keeping it simple. Offering more options than you can explain adds too many layers of complexity and can leave customers confused about the best option. When in doubt, you can always shoot for a good, better, best model. The good model could be your inexpensive option with the bare necessities, whereas the best model delivers everything and the kitchen sink. Meanwhile, the better model is the in-between option that offers the best of both worlds at a moderate investment. Should you ever get stuck on what makes the most sense, ask your audience. They'll know what works for them based on their budget and needs. I could make an entire video series based on all the options available through Uscreen, but I'll keep it simple. The marketing option offers a variety of options that are self-explanatory. This includes YouTube Lead Generator. Now, this option gives you granular details of your YouTube following through a lead generation URL. Giveaway Funnels, they create a viral-like giveaway that'll turn potential customers into paying subscribers. Landing Pages, Refer a friend, nothing beats the power of referrals. Let your subscribers recommend friends and family for a free 30-day subscription. Take your time filling out the next section for nurturing your audience. You can create email broadcasts for subscribers who opted into email notifications. When you have more subscriptions and bundles, you can create a subscription upsell. Much like the refer a friend, having gift cards makes life easy for everyone, especially those diehard subscribers who would love to share what you had, even if they foot the bill. Abandoned cart is a game changer, especially if you have some followers who are too busy tire kicking. Having this option incentivizes them to act now and subscribe right away. Push notifications are great for when you expand your membership site to various mobile app services that Uscreen manages including Apple, Google, Roku, and more. Let's say you have a new video series. This option is great for grabbing their attention. Now there's two last options. Winback is great for winning over even more customers. And for reduced churn, you can prevent cancellations by offering a last minute special to keep them on. Whereas try again for free is a way to entice former subscribers to back into the fold. Before you make your membership site fully available to the public, I recommend running a soft launch for select number of beta users. You can create a special one-time code that provides your subscribers with a free trial or discounted month. Select Marketing, then Coupons, then hit the New Coupon button. You can set the coupon code, description, and discount amount based on the fixed dollar amount or percentage. 
This discount can be applied to all or one of your products, including a subscription, a bundle, or a specific content that you want. Now, the redemption limits are nice when you're wanting to set an expiration date, limit the number of users, and what you allow for customers redeeming the code. Once you're set, hit create. Then share your site's address and explain to customers they can redeem the code upon checkout. When I first launched my membership site, I gave a half dozen beta users free access in exchange for honest feedback on what they liked best and what needed addressing before an official launch. Can you skip a beta phase? Sure, but I wouldn't recommend it since you might miss one or two things in setting up the site. It's always good to get an extra set of fresh eyes to review the site to make absolutely sure it's good to go. Once you're done with the beta testing phase and have made all the necessary corrections, it's go time. Now it's up to you to promote your new membership site to the moon and back. Your promotional strategy should include social media, your email newsletter, videos, interviews, podcast appearances, hey, in-person appearances, it doesn't matter. Never stop promoting your membership website. You'll find that not everyone will know you have a membership site, even if you've said it five million times. I still have an occasional YouTube subscriber who inevitably says, I wish you had some courses I could check out. Be patient and keep promoting. Think about running event-based sales around certain holidays. You already know how to set up a coupon so it's easy to run a sale that's limited to a certain number of customers or time. Creating a sense of scarcity really helps drive more revenue. If you ever get stuck, feel free to drop me a comment or hit up Usescreen's stellar customer support. You can grab a 14-day free trial when you use my affiliate link at dailinks.com slash Usescreen. Get this though, I didn't even talk about one of the best features of Usescreen, OTT support. In other words, they build and distribute apps for you. Get more details about that in this next video where I reviewed Uscreen services. I'll see you there.